Acts 4 verse 12 says, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. This verse is a powerful reminder that Jesus Christ is the cornerstone of our faith. There is no other name, no other power, no other Savior who can offer us what Christ can, eternal salvation, peace, and abundant life. In a world filled with distractions and voices that try to lead us astray, it is essential to remember that only Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He alone can fill the void in our hearts, heal our brokenness, and redeem our souls. In this verse, we see the Apostle Peter boldly proclaiming the truth before the Sanhedrin, standing in the power of the Holy Spirit. He wasn't just speaking to those in authority. He was speaking to all generations, including us today. The essence of this message is simple but profound. Salvation is exclusive to Jesus Christ. It is through Him and Him alone that we are saved. When we reflect on this truth, it reshapes how we view our lives and our relationship with God. In a world full of countless ideologies, philosophies, and promises of salvation through various means, we are reminded that there is only one Savior. The world may offer temporary relief, fleeting pleasures, and hollow promises of fulfillment, but it is only in Christ that we find the eternal answer to the deepest needs of our souls. Christ's name is more than a title. It embodies his character, his authority, and his mission. His name means God saves, and his life was the ultimate expression of God's saving love for humanity. When we call upon the name of Jesus, we are calling upon the fullness of who he is. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, the Good Shepherd who guides us to still waters, and the Prince of Peace who calms our hearts in times of trouble. This truth, that salvation is found in no other name, should fill us with awe and gratitude. It is by His name that we are adopted into the family of God. It is by His name that we are given access to the Father and the riches of His grace. It is by His name that our lives are transformed, and we are given a hope and a future. Let this be a reminder that nothing in this world compares to the gift we have in Christ. Our achievements, possessions, or the approval of others pale in comparison to the life and freedom we find in Him. When challenges arise, when doubts creep in, or when the pressures of life weigh us down, we must remember the power of Jesus' name. He is our salvation, and there is no other. We are not called to a passive faith, but an active one, boldly declaring, as Peter did, that there is no other name by which we are saved. Let us live with conviction, knowing that Jesus' name has the power to break every chain, to heal every wound, and to restore every heart. May we be confident in proclaiming His name, not only in words, but in the way we live, reflecting His love, grace, and mercy to the world around us. In moments of weakness, doubt, or fear, May we turn to the name of Jesus, trusting that his name will bring us through. There is no other name that carries the promise of eternal life. No other name that offers the depth of God's love and forgiveness. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. Through him, we are saved. When you feel lost, remember that salvation is not something you can earn through deeds or works. It is a gift freely given through faith in Christ. It's in the name of Jesus that chains are broken, mountains are moved, and lives are transformed. His name carries the power of heaven itself. And by calling on him, we invite divine intervention into our situations. The world may offer temporary solutions to our struggles, but only Jesus offers eternal hope. When you feel the weight of the world pressing down on you, Remember to turn your eyes toward the cross. His sacrifice was the ultimate act of love, and His resurrection guarantees that we, too, will rise from our challenges. There is no other name under heaven that holds such authority and grace. Lean into that truth and let it anchor your soul. Let Acts 4 verse 12 be a reminder that your salvation, 
your identity, and your purpose are all found in Christ alone. Trust in His name, walk in His promises, and never forget that you are loved beyond measure by the One who gave His life for you. Heavenly Father, we come before you today, grateful and humbled by the truth of your word. Acts 4 verse 12 reminds us that there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Thank you, Lord, for the precious gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, who came into this world to offer us salvation through his sacrifice. We acknowledge that it is only through him that we find life, redemption, and the forgiveness of our sins. Lord Jesus, we call upon your name, the name above all names. We recognize that in you, we are made whole. Your name brings healing, peace, and deliverance. When the world offers confusion, you give us clarity. When fear tries to grip our hearts, you give us courage. When we are burdened by guilt and shame, your grace sets us free. Father, we ask for a fresh revelation of the power of Jesus' name. Help us to fully grasp the depth of what it means to be saved by your grace and love. Let us never take for granted the sacrifice you made on the cross, where you bore the weight of our sins and offered us new life through your resurrection. We are unworthy, yet you have called us worthy. We are broken, yet you offer us healing. We are lost, yet you have found us and called us your own. Lord, we pray for boldness like Peter, who declared your name before the authorities without fear or hesitation. Fill us with the same courage to proclaim your name in our lives, our communities, and our world. Let us not be ashamed of the gospel, but instead, may we stand firm in the truth that salvation is found only in you. Help us to be witnesses of your love and grace sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with those around us who are searching for meaning, purpose, and hope. We lift up our struggles, our worries, and our burdens to you, knowing that in your name, there is power to overcome every obstacle. Whether we are facing physical illness, emotional pain, or spiritual battles, we trust in the mighty name of Jesus to bring healing, comfort, and victory. Your name is our strong tower, and we run to you for refuge. Lord, we also pray for those who do not yet know you, for those who are wandering through life without the hope that only you can provide. Open their hearts to receive the truth of your salvation. Break down the walls that keep them from turning to you, and use us as your vessels to shine the light of Christ in the darkness. We pray that the lost would find their way to you, and that your name would be lifted high in their lives. Heavenly Father, we ask for your guidance and wisdom as we navigate the challenges of this world. Help us to remember that we are not alone, for you are with us every step of the way. Your name brings peace in the storm, strength in weakness, and joy in sorrow. May we find rest in the assurance that you are always in control and that nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. We ask, Lord, that you help us to stand firm in the knowledge that our salvation is secure in you. May we never waver in our faith, but boldly proclaim your name to the world. Give us the strength to resist the temptations and distractions that try to pull us away from you. Help us to remember that you are our refuge, our fortress, and our redeemer. Father, we lift up those who have yet to come to know the power of your name. We pray that their hearts would be softened, their eyes opened, and their souls awakened to the truth of who you are. Use us as vessels of your love and grace to reach those who are lost, so that they too may find salvation in you. We thank you, Lord, for your unwavering love and mercy. As we walk through this life, let us always carry the name of Jesus with boldness, trusting that no matter what we face, your name will prevail. There is no other name under heaven that compares to yours. We place our trust, our hope, and our lives in your hands, knowing that you alone are our Savior. In the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, 
as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 6. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He lets me rest in grassy meadows. He leads me to restful waters. He keeps me alive. He guides me in proper paths for the sake of his good name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no danger because you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they protect me. You set a table for me right in front of my enemies. You bathe my head in oil. My cup is so full it spills over. Yes, goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will live in the Lord's house as long as I live. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. God bless you all.